Hi, my name is Bradford and today I would like to talk about setting up a low maintenance aquarium. So as you may know, many people love to have fish in their house. Uh, many like to have it there because it offers a great deal of beauty to your room. So having an aquarium sitting in the, uh, in the hall, in the living room or the bedroom or anywhere it, uh, adds to great beauty. But one important thing is maintaining it and many people tend to fall short of time when it comes to maintenance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide some great information on how to do this simply. What I would like to highlight is the size of the aquarium. I would highly recommend getting a big aquarium because the larger the better. Uh, since the greater the volume of water, the lesser is the fluctuations of the chemical changes that happen in the water and same applies even for water temperature. The second point that I would like to highlight is keep minimum fish in your aquarium. I know it looks beautiful to have a large amount of fish in the aquarium, but do keep in mind that each fish produces waste which affects the water quality and increases the maintenance. So the lesser fish you keep, the better it is. The third point I would like to highlight is keep small fish. Small fish uh, like tetras, guppies and similar fish. Now these fish do not eat much, they do not produce much waste, they do not raise the dirt from the bottom of the water and uh, this drastically reduces maintenance. If you decide to keep a bigger variety of fish like garamis, angels and so on, then I would recommend that you keep as minimum as possible as compared to if you are keeping small fish. Okay, the fifth point is uh, use sponge filters. Sponge filters are efficient at uh, purifying the water because it provides a lot of surface area for nitrifying bacteria and uh, the more sponge filters you have the better. So do use sponge filters to the fullest and you can maintain it once so once in a month up to three months as well. The next point that I would like to highlight is setting up a drip system. Now a drip system is uh, pretty much uh, having water fill from one side of the tank and uh, the overflowing on the other side of the tank and this eliminates the uh, manual necessity of having to change your water. So do try this out. This is an ultimate king of uh, auto maintenance. Do Google it online and research more on this. The last point here is feed your fish moderately, do not overfeed. That is one of the main reasons why the water goes bad fast. So basically uh, feed your fish whatever it can consume in 5 minutes. And if you find that food is getting wasted, then reduce the amount. So with all that being said, I hope you find this video useful and beneficial. Do try out these things and do comment and post and please uh, don't forget to like this video subscribe and uh, share it with your friends on facebook and social media so cheers and have a nice day